Hi, I'm Angela Cumpy, and I am here to show you a little bit of creative uh, color that you can do really quick in your salon. Uh, this is Amadeus, and as you can tell, he's been getting played with all weekend. Got a little bit of color all over him. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish him out. I'm going to color all his long hair with some blow pens. Um, I've got some of the Bark Art blow pens here. And then I'm actually going to show you a new favorite product of mine, some hair crayons, and we're going to use that to color all the shorter hair on him. And um, he had some writing on his back because last night he took a big crap in the floor during class. So we shamed him and his back said I number two in class. Um, we're going to cover that up and make it something pretty because he's out of trouble today. Um, so I'm going to get started. We're going to do a little bit of color. And for those of you that are going to Tacoma um, in April, I'm going to be teaching some classes there um, entitled Show Me the Money. And that's going to be a lot of really fast easy stuff you can do in your salon. So accessories, bling, a lot of three and five minute creative applications. So what I'm gonna do is I have several colors here. I'm kinda gonna tie dye I'm gonna go with blues and greens on the mane, and then I'm gonna do the pink and orange and yellow on his body. And I'm just gonna start with one spot and work my way down and keep swapping out colors. Start up here. I guess I could've showed you this. For those of you that haven't worked a blow pen, when you open it, the marker is in the cap to keep it from drying out. So you just flip it over to the clear side, put the mouthpiece back on, and then you'll just blow to get the color out. Get my brush here. I'm gonna hold his head back so you can see. Just gonna brush it a little bit in between to kind of spread the color. Green one. And again, in between every time, I'm just gonna kind of brush, blend those colors together and spread it down. I got two different greens and two different blues here. What is it, arms? If I don't get lightheaded and pass out. The reason I'm holding this hair down is to keep it from blowing everywhere. That way I can kind of hold it in place while I'm applying the color. Start back with my dark blue. Another green in here. You can see how fast that color goes on there. All right, we got a bunch of blue and gray in there. Or blue and green, I'm sorry. Now the hair crayons, I'm gonna hold this up. They're exactly what they sound like. They're a crayon made for hair. It's like chalk um, in a wax base. And I'm just gonna start, if I can hold this up, doing some swirls and just kind of keep filling it in. Just random spots until he's covered. I'm gonna go around his little blingy paw print we did last night. I'll be showing that in Tacoma too. That was really easy and long lasting. Some pink, some orange.
trying to do this upside down so I'm not getting in the way of the camera there. My rear ender is getting kind of wide and I don't want to block the view. You can see how fast these go on. And these um, go on a little wet, but once they dry, they don't rub off on everything like traditional chalk does. So it um, makes it much nicer for clients because you don't have to worry about it rubbing off all over their furniture. And like I said, they're really fast and easy to use. can't see. Some yellow. Stay down. And sit. All right. I'm fill in here with some yellow. These work great on even uh, darker coated dogs. Show up really well. I sell these on my website at accretivecollection.com. They are really fun and easy to use. I actually sell them to my clients sometimes for the kids to go home and paint the dogs. He's still got some writing up here we're gonna to try to cover up. Turn it around that way. Alrighty, we've about got him colored in there. And usually I don't color like the whole dog with these. I just want to so, show you how fast and easy these go on. Trying to see over the dog here. Paisley's tie-dye effect here. All right. Do a little bit more blow pin work. I actually think about adding some of the orange up here on the top. Blow pins, and you can get the uh, blow pins uh, through a spree, or you can get them through myself. Um, I think you can get them through places like Ryan's. Open them all up here. He had pink already up here on his forehead, so I'm gonna blend some more of that in here.
kind of parting the hair and where the white hair is underneath, covering it with the pink. Have some crayon. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I said the crayons, and once this dries, it doesn't smear. You can rub it; it doesn't smear anywhere. It doesn't come off on anything. So it's a really fast and easy way to add a little bit of color, have a little fun with it. It's fun to you know let your clients take them home and color the dogs. Hey, Jumps. See it. And again, if you want to learn more about some fun, fast, creative color and accessories, come see me in Tacoma. I'm teaching an all-day class. Um, show me the money because we're going to show you how to get all the money from your clients. I can never find what I'm looking for. The Northwest Grooming Show. do with this breed. The Northwest Grooming 